So here's the uh, driver I'm gonna try. Basically uh, the DRSSTC1 Steve Ward's deal uh, with OCD. But I wanted to use these uh, IXD N gate drivers that I bought, but I realized they didn't have enables on them. So um, I'm basically just driving those with the UCCs. I was kind of like half asleep when I made this. I haven't fully tested it yet. So for whatever reason, this thing wasn't working right just off the regular feedback like that. Uh, a lot of possibilities there, but I think mainly the reason it worked so well on that other setup was because I had a background oscillator. So it's really PLL, it's running on feedback using the CD4046, but it's always got that VCO in the background, it's always running, right? So, so you always got like a strong reliable feedback there. In this case, didn't seem like it was working, but when I threw the signal generator on and just started sweeping frequencies with this bus powered and everything going just to see if I did start to get output, I noticed that it did work. So if I cut the uh, interrupter guy back on, see I'm getting a little output with very low voltage. I guess what I'm going to do is just try adding a CD4046 to this circuit. So just make it, give it the same general kind of feedback as that guy. I'm not really sure if that's going to work with this uh, particular driver. I guess we'll see. All right, so now I've just transplanted over a little CD4046 uh, feedback circuit that was on this uh, full bridge. So this is what I was running before, just a regular uh, full bridge ramp setup. So basically I've just kind of taken the same coil, different primary, and uh, transplanted it over to uh, this build with a dual full bridge. Uh, so I'm using this driver now and again, uh, you know, I'm not real sure what's going on with the feedback, but now I've got the uh, VCO always going with the PLL feedback where I've got this little uh, CT right here on there. So again, still regular uh, SSTC operation. So I'm kind of going in steps here. So since I already know that this combination kind of worked, I'm just gonna see now using relatively the same circuit, this is a little more complicated because this has got the flip-flop and um, you know, it's the DRSSTC one where this is more like the mini SSTC circuit, right? I'm not actually sure that's going to be working uh, properly at the moment, but that's kind of how it's going. The way that I've did this, I've just lazily kind of added the PLL where the output is going into the input of the uh, driver. And so I've got the CT going to the input of this guy right here. On this circuit, I'm pretty sure it was the other way around where I've got the uh, CT going straight to the 74HC14. The output of that is feeding the uh, PLL and then that PLL output's going straight to the gate driver. So since I know that this kind of works, maybe you switch that up. But again, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to see. But basically, I think what's happening here is I'm, I'm not really getting feedback uh, like I should be. It's more or less fixed frequency. Uh, so if that's the case, then I'm gonna have to keep adjusting it per the input voltage And I'm not I'm not really trying to do that. So I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to see how that works. That is the CT that I was using um, What I'm using now is a very similar core. It's a little bit smaller, but I'm basically using the, the same material same number of uh, turns and it's that guy down there, so I was originally using these guys. These will probably work well for certain applications, but for whatever reason, it just was not working uh, for me in this setup. So when I went back to that guy, I got my uh, phasing right. It seems to basically now be working uh, with the same type of tuning as I had on the other circuit. So that's cool, right? That means now I can basically just copy this exact circuit um, put this one back on my other circuit and then incorporate that into this build and then figure out how to kind of shield everything and then I can sort of finalize that and say that's working as far as running it as an SSTC. Kind of interested in seeing 
how this works out on the dual full bridge with this wider coupling because before I, I guess I was basically bringing it real close to the edge to where I was getting pretty good arcs but you know once I got up to a certain voltage just was not able to uh withstand it with this wider coupling this fat ass pipe there it seems to work out pretty good so the only thing is I'm you know I'm certainly going to lose a little bit of arc, arc length there at least until I get to a certain voltage and again I'm hoping this PLL kind of works out reliably but I'm going to run it a little bit <clears throat> crank it up some and then try to look at what the ramp waveform looks like with this current setup start cranking the voltage that logic power and it's kind of hard to see but let's just say uh if I was to crank the on time all the way up, then that thing is going to be pulsing some pretty good uh, <laughs> gate drive power. So, again, this is still from the uh, little inverter. So, it's about 60, 60 VDC peak on the ramp there. I'm at 50 volts per division. And, you know, nothing major. Got the on time down pretty low. So I'm going to bring it up to like, uh, here's like 76, 75, 80, something like that, right? And already I can see that the ripple there is a whole lot smaller than uh, what it was before. So that's cool. And I'm wondering if that has to do with that extra 20 uh, microfarad I've got on the bus there. So, already 75, it's doing pretty good. Crank the on time up some. Again, that's only 75 that's not bad um, so same uh, buck same inductor filter same everything except you know the difference between this setup and the one before is aside from this different circuit um, I do have that extra 20 microfarad on the bus so again that's kind of changing the characteristic of the that filter there but it seems to have been to the benefit of the circuit. So if I crank it up a little bit more. Still. Getting longer ramps. And again, I, need, I haven't even really tuned this thing at all. So I'm actually kind of surprised and happy that's working as well as it is right now. Uh, but again. Um get up to about 100 volts or so peak on that ramp and um it's just barely starting to get a little bit dirty right so i like that so before that ripple would have been a whole lot closer to uh just clearly over 20 volts peak to peak or something like that it's a way way lower now i'm kind of winging it right now so i don't really want to push it too hard till I do a little more investigating and finalizing and all that but yeah I kind of like how that's working out and I think that's how I'm going to stick with this build use the same type of driver setup once I switch to primary feedback I'm not really sure uh, what I'm going to do there I might leave this kind of like a little modular deal um, so maybe I can go back and forth between SSTC DRSSTC I don't know